Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making ceviche for my husband's birthday. So obviously this is not a crock pot meal, but you can definitely make this ahead of time and pop it in the fridge until you're ready to use. This is his request every year, so I pretty much have it down to a science. I don't normally measure anything, but I'll make sure to leave a recipe down below for a smaller batch. I'm making a, a bigger batch today. He's having some family come over, so I'm making a little bit of a bigger batch than we normally would do. Let's go over the ingredients. Garlic salt, cilantro, red onion, lime juice, olive oil, cucumber, avocado, tomato, shrimp, and imitation crab. I would normally add probably some jalapeno. We like spice in this household, but since we're having family over, I'm trying to keep it a little uh, less spicy for those who don't like the spice. Bear with me, I'm gonna try to mix, talk, and pour the ingredients in the bowl with one hand. So I like to start off with some olive oil with the lime juice and the onions. I think it kind of cuts the onion flavor. So that's a little splash of olive oil. The lime juice and the red onion. I'll give that a quick stir. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. I personally like onions, but I know not everybody does, so I think letting it sit for a little bit um, may cut that strong flavor. Okay, we're gonna add the shrimp and the imitation crab. Give that a stir so it can start marinating. Sorry guys, my phone cut out on me. I take so many pictures of my daughter, I, I constantly lose storage. I'm always having to delete things and uninstall apps. Okay, so once we get that stirred, let's start adding the remainder. So I'm just gonna throw in the remainder of the tomatoes, cucumber, and avocado at once. and the cilantro and let's do a pinch of salt let's start off small and then we'll we'll give it a taste a little bit later whoops and that's what i get for trying to start with one hand i have my tripod coming in soon and I think that'll help out a lot, but right now, I don't. Okay, I think we're good with the stirring. I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator for a few hours to let the flavor sort of blend together. And then I'm gonna pull it out probably maybe after 30, 45 minutes to, to test the flavors. I usually like to add some more lime juice just to give it a little more juice. And I will see you back soon and we'll plate it up and see how it tastes. I've gone ahead and put it in a nice decorative bowl. Guys, how good does that look? So refreshing. It's almost uh, 100 degrees outside, so this will definitely be nice and refreshing. So I've gone ahead and put some on some tostadas. That's how we like to enjoy them. But we've also used chips, crackers, whatever really we have on hand. We're not picky with our ceviche. Um, and I was going to mention, if you wanted to make this into a shrimp cocktail, that would be delicious. I usually would just use the same base ingredients. And towards the end, I would just add a V8 juice, tomato juice, whatever you see at your store. But that's also delicious. And we usually eat that with the same things, crackers, tostadas, chips. And since we didn't add the jalapenos, we are having it with some tapatio. All right, guys, enjoy. 